Adobe Flash Professional is now known as Adobe Animate CC. Rest assured that everything you see in this video, as applied to Flash Professional CC, is exactly the same in Adobe Animate CC. While Edge Animate and Flash Professional can both output to the native web browser using HTML elements, the way in which they handle this differs quite a bit. Let's have a look at these differences and the advantages Flash Professional provides. You can see here, as I'm clicking in my Elements panel within Animate, how all the different elements are being selected. And you'll notice one thing very obviously, and that is that every one of these elements is actually rectangular in nature. That's because when you publish content using Edge Animate, you're targeting the DOM. HTML DOM consists of basically elements which are rectangular. So whether they're headings, paragraphs, images, div objects, for instance, a lot of these are SVG. And SVG is going to also show up inside of a rectangular containing element with Edge Animate. This is one of the reasons that the tooling in Animate is a bit limited. So you have rectangle tool and rounded rectangle tool and ellipse, but they're basically all based on a div. To achieve any of the shapes that we see here or any images, we have to rely on a number of additional programs, such as Photoshop or Illustrator. Within Flash Professional, on the other hand, we have a huge array of tools to choose from. So not only do we have simple shapes like rectangles and ellipses, we also have polygons and stars, simple lines, and freeform shapes such as the paintbrush tool, pencil tool, and brush tool. Additionally, we have a native pen tool inside of Flash Professional CC. And the ability to map vector art brushes to any of our strokes. All of this creates real shape data, which can then be adjusted, modified, and output to HTML5 Canvas or WebGL. Canvas and WebGL differ from the DOM in that similar to Flash Player, you have one basic element, which is the canvas, represented here by our Flash Professional stage. Additionally, when we go into our publish settings for Canvas, you can see that we have an OAM package, and this is available in WebGL or AS3 documents as well. This allows us to package everything as an OAM file to be brought into Adobe Muse, InDesign, for use in DPS, or even Dreamweaver.